Is the fire movement retire early, dead or alive? A couple of very successful retirees from the fire movement say the same opportunity is not there. It's changed. We're going to analyze the fire movement and see if you still have the chance to become financially independent and retire early. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. Our goal here is to share money management ideas. And today we're talking about the FIRE movement, financially independent, retire early. Let's look uh, at the history of the FIRE movement. By the way, if you like any part of this video, hit the like button. And also, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and make sure you listen all the way through. Back in 2008 here, nobody was talking about the FIRE movement. Okay, because everybody was trying to save their money from loss with the markets moving down. As we emerged out of the crash, the financial crash in 2008, 2009 area, prices of real estate started to go up. Also, stocks started to go up and people started to realize their dream of being able to retire early and have financial independence. And then around uh, 2000. 15, 16, 17, you started hearing more about the fire movement because people were actually making it happen around that time period due to the economy improving so well. However, think about this. We may have just started hearing about this the last few years, but the fire movement's been going on for a long time. I know of a book that was written back in 1998 called Your Money and Your Life. And the family there retired early. They've been retired for 30 years now. However, as what's been discouraging here as of lately, we've had this stock market crash. So many folks are saying it can't be done again. It's going to take a long time and they're discouraged. If a person started the fire movement in the last few years, they're going to see their investments down and they're going to have a lot of despair over this situation. So how did this so-called fire movement get started today? What happened was, was some folks in their 20s and 30s making good money. They said, you know, we see our parents working 40 to 50 years. We don't want to work that long. We don't want to work that hard and then barely make it after we retire. We want to make a lot of money now so that we can retire in our 30s and 40s or 50s even and be able to do what we want to do. Maybe we want to start a business or maybe we want to have some hobbies that we want to do or traveling. So that's how the fire movement evolved. And so the fire movement was all about saving as much money as you can and also cutting your expenses. So when we talk about saving, the goal was to save 50 to 70% of their income, 50 to 70%. And the way you do that is you're going to cut your expenses. So you wanted to live somewhat frugal by cutting your expenses. And then once you reach your goal, they had a goal. This is all about goal planning. Typically about 25 times your income was the goal. And then you could live off of that the rest of your life. They would take out about two to 4% of their income on a annual basis to live off of that. So that was the fire movement. And so many people as a saved and earned have actually been able to achieve but due to this current stock market crash some are saying the opposite here's an article that says self-made millionaire says the concept of retiring early will disappear due to the coronavirus pandemic the article also goes on to say the pandemic could even wipe out what became known as the fire movement which embraces the concept of saving the majority of your income in your 20s and 30s so you can retire in your 30s and 40s. That's according to Grant Sabatier, millennial money founder. I think the whole idea of retiring early will disappear because of this. It's just not going to be as easy. Even the people have been saving up and it's not going to be as attractive of an idea. Here's another article out of Business Insider it says, forget fire. A man who retired at age 34 with 3 million says the coronavirus pandemic might replace the early retirement trend with a new movement. He thinks the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic will send many early retirees back to work. And many people who have not yet reached fire will have probably have to extend their working careers 
by three to five years to make up for their equity losses. So we saw a couple examples there from some retirees from the fire movement who took advantage of the fire movement and retired early. But now after seeing what's happened to the stock market, they are very discouraged for those starting the fire movement saying it's going to take much longer or it could even be impossible. So let's just take a look at our map again here on the stock market. There's always going to be times in the markets when there's downs in the markets. But even with the 2008 crash, people came out of it and still became financially independent. They, they developed financial freedom and they still were able to retire early. Just because we're down here in 2020 and things look bleak, there actually may be some opportunities here for a person to become financially independent and retire early. So my suggestion here is don't give up hope. So if you're wanting to work the FIRE program and retire early, I still think there's hope to do it. We're going to look at a couple of ideas here on what it takes to retire early. The first one is you're going to want to live below your means. Save more money. Okay, you want to save more money. If you ever read the book called The Millionaire Next Door, the millionaire next door isn't driving a Mercedes. They are not living a lavish lifestyle. The millionaire next door is living below his or her means. The next thing here is to stay debt free. Stay debt free. Don't get into debt on cars. Don't get into debt on your credit card because you've got to pay that back and that's going to hurt you on trying to live below your means and also will hurt your savings rate. The next area to take in consideration here is to invest. With the market being lower, you can buy stocks and investments on sale at the, at the appropriate time. So there is an opportunity here to grow your money faster once the market starts to turn around. So yes, the fire movement is still alive. There is a chance for financial independence and retire early and financial freedom if you follow some of these tips and don't get discouraged. There is hope.